Where we go? Alright, let's see this big fella. But, what's the big boy doing? What's the big boy doing? Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. So I'm here today. I got Anya and her big fella, her big jam thumb pup. His name is Ark. And he's a phenomenal big fella. He's the first jam son male born in Canada. And uh, as near as I know, he's the first. And he's a world-class hunting dog, world-class jams and beautiful big fella. And uh, I named him Mark as he's kind of the original, the origin of the jam thund now in Canada, the first jam thund. And uh, of course after Anya, Rico and Camilla. So I uh, didn't name him after that. Hang on, Eric. Just hang on, buddy. Settle down, mister. <laughs> what a good boy. So, yeah, we've been having a fun time on you and I with this guy. He's a great boy. I've been working with him, setting him up, getting him, getting him comfortable. This is the key to working with a good dog is you start out really early. <laughs> God. Where are you going, mister? Where are you going? What are you up to? Oh, that's a good girl on you. What a good boy, Art. What a good boy. Just show off for the camera a little bit there, Art. Take it easy, mister. <laughs> what a good boy. What a good boy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. That's a good boy. Good. So he's doing really good. Obviously, Anya figured she'd just have a light load the first litter. So she just uh, decided to have a small litter, which is totally fine. First litter. No panic. No worries. And so she's just having a real nice time. And uh, Art can grow like crazy then, right? So he's going to be some seriously big fella. He'll do really good. And uh, we'll make sure we feed him everything he needs and work on him. Give him every opportunity to be all he can be. That's for sure. And uh, so we're just setting him up so that he's all nice and comfortable and happy. And he's a good boy. And... Uh, the key with raising good dogs, of course, is you've got to have a bond with the mother. And then you see she transfers that good bond right to the pup. And uh, it's in the pup before he even is born. That vibration, that scent, that good feeling from me being around is automatically in him. And so when he comes out, he's literally my buddy right from the get-go. So I was in here when she was having them and sat with her all the time. And she, uh, her and I, we, uh, we you know, we're, you just stay by me, honey. Just hang in, hang in. I want you to just stay by the video, good girl. So her and I were just comfortable all the time. So when Art came out, he was just a happy boy. He was just happy. And so he was, he's, is comfortable with her as me, or me as her. <laughs> That's, me sort of be some seriously good hunting dog, hiking dog, companion dog, that sort of thing. Now, I have decided to keep them for a while. I'll eventually place them, but uh, I want to just have some fun and work with them and, and get his skill level way up and just enjoy them. It's the only uh, jam ton pup I've had, so there's no panic. I'll put him with a good family, but uh, he, he won't go as a little guy. He'll, he'll be a little bit older. I'm going to work with him a bit. So that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. He's a really good boy. 
You better come say hi to the camera there, buddy. Say hello. <laughs> That's the big fella. Hey, isn't it right, Anya? Hmm? What a good boy. So Anya, she's doing a great job. Now, just a couple of pens over. Kai's got nine. It was in there just a few minutes ago. They're, they're just happy, fat little rascals. They were born, this guy's week old. They were just born about three days ago on the first. And so, uh, oh no, it might be the fifth today. They might be five days old. And he was born on the 27th. So, um, just a couple pens over is Kalia's got six. And they're about seven weeks old. And so I got pups. Oh, and I got uh, Valma outside. Bitman Viking just went home yesterday, day before. And so uh, I, Velma's about 16 weeks. So we got pups from just a few days to a week to seven to 16. So it was absolutely fun time. Just a glorious time to be a dog breeder when they're little guys. And uh, of course, this is a gay fun day for me when this guy came. I tell you, I've been waiting a long time, many, many years, planning and organizing this, so it really is nice. What are you doing, mister? What are you up to, buddy? Where are you headed? Just relax. We're doing a video here. We're doing a video. So, yeah, pretty fun. So, uh, we're just uh, getting them used to us. Having fun with him. I pack him around. I carry him around. He's with me. He goes where on you and I. We just have fun. We're doing stuff. But uh, I like to set the pups up well for the people, and you do that by working with the pups early. So I sat in there with ties, and they're climbing all over me, and they're only just a few days old, and I was with them all, of course, when they were born. And so they all know me, but I mean, I spend time with all the pups and the kennel and everybody's comfortable, everybody's happy, everybody's relaxed. And that's the key to a good dog, right? That's the key to setting them up right. Now, I got great genetics and I got great adults. So not necessarily just me. I'm, I'm, I'm just blowing my own horn for the sake of it, but it's all in the dogs I have. Not really what I'm doing, but I try and make the best use of those genetics and make sure that these pups have every opportunity to be great dogs. And then the new owner, all they got to do is carry that on, right? Stay focused, be nice, work with their dog, build a bond, and uh, just make sure that they're connected to the dog so they know the dog understands that hey this is a safe place to be a good place to be and uh, if you set them up right that's the key so you get little guys like Ark I mean look at him he's totally relaxed <laughs> oh there he's a good boy he's he's going to be such a magnificent fella oh my goodness Rico and Anya combined their two genetics you see it's just a background of world-class dogs, the two of them, and uh, they brought everything together for this rascal. So yeah, what a beauty. What a beauty. What a good boy. What a good boy. Oh my goodness, buddy. Oh my goodness. He's a good boy, isn't he, Anya? Oh my goodness, Anya. You did such a great job with this guy. My goodness, Anya. Oh, he's a good boy. What a good boy. Anya, this is a bear hunter. This is a moose hunter. My goodness. Anya's mother is a Finnish bear champion. And Anya's dad's a Finnish moose champion. Rico's heritage is just nothing but champions. Just nothing but. So yeah, we got a good boy here. <laughs> pretty excited. So yeah, pretty excited. So I'm going to keep him. And because uh, I have the opportunity to work with him, I'm just going to work with him for a bit.
have Anya help me train him. And uh, Anya's a world class dog already, but she's uh, she's got such a strong hunt drive that I'll put uh, Ark with Mon a bit too, and let Mon train him and Dakota. Dakota will love training this big fella. So yeah, it's going to be a fun time. Be a really, really skilled dog. So I'm excited about it. All right, Tanya. Okay, Eric. All right, shut this off. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Will you come up and say hello? Come say hello for a minute. Come up here. Come say hello, Eric. Good boy, good boy.